Good morning, Central Baptist Church family. I hope you're having a good day so far and you have a great day ahead of you. I hope that you're making the most of your time. Uh, my wife has definitely kept me busy. We have been redoing our, our kitchen cabinets and they're looking great. We're almost done, We're really excited about that. Um, but anytime you take a break, uh, it's really nice for a while. You, like, like I said, you're able to get maybe some home projects done. You're able to sleep in a little bit. You're able to relax. You're able to catch up on a video game. You're able to catch up on a TV series. You're able to do some things that normally you don't get to do. And it's nice to be able to take a break. It, breaks are good. But after a while, I know for me especially, I get bored really fast. And the problem with boredom, especially for teenagers, which is my audience, who's, who I'm talking about, talking to right now, the problem with boredom is when you're bored, you're prone to do things that, that you shouldn't be doing. You're prone to sin. That's just the reality. And, and the same goes for adults as well. But teenagers, I really want you to think about the fact that, you know, last week was your spring break. You're like, okay, we expect this break. This is really fun. And maybe even to yesterday and today have been really enjoyable because it's extra, it's bonus, it's still fresh. But before you get bored, before you get to that point in your life where you're just like, really have nothing else to do and so your mind starts to wander and you start to do things you know you shouldn't be doing you start to hang out with um people well you shouldn't be hanging out with people anyways but you know you start to hang out with people even like just through texting people that you shouldn't be texting and you start going down a path of sinfulness i, I want to warn you and in romans chapter 6 does the warning for us so we're going to look at several verses uh but it all works together to prove this very important truth that i'm trying to make this morning romans chapter 6 verse 1 says what shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound god forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein and then verse 6 knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin for he that is dead is freed from sin as believers, we no longer are bound by sin like a lost person is. A lost person knows nothing better than sin. But a, a saved person, a believer, has been given freedom and victory and power over sin. That's a wonderful thing. So why should we who are dead to sin live in sin any longer? Why should we who have been given the victory go back to defeat? It doesn't make sense. And so young people, I just want to challenge you to not live defeated in sin but instead, look at verse 19. It says, I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as you have yielded your members' servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members' servants to righteousness unto holiness. Paul is a human too. And Paul wrote this book. And, and Paul understands our struggle. He understands our flesh. He understands that we just want to sin. We want to do wrong. It feels good sometimes to sin. It does. That's just the reality. Sin is fun sometimes. The Bible says it's, it's, an, it's pleasurable for a season. But sin always leads to destruction. Sin is always a painful course to take. And Paul says, I speak after the manner of men. I understand your struggle. And I understand that you have previously been given to, he calls it iniquity, which is sinfulness. He's like, but instead, why don't you purpose in your heart to be servants of righteousness unto holiness? So my challenge for you today and for as long as we can experience boredom, to be servants of righteousness unto holiness. Intention and purpose in your heart every single day. Hey, today, I'm going to be a servant of righteousness unto holiness. That means spending a little bit extra time in the Word of God. That means spending a little extra time in prayer. That means spending a little extra time meditating on spiritual things and and doing different studies maybe even watching there's some good christian documentaries out there you know i mean just do some things that are going to get your mind on spiritual things and you know be a servant see if there's something you can do for someone else um someone you can pray for someone you can encourage uh, especially during this time that would make you a servant of righteousness unto holiness. Let's not let boredom win. Let's not let boredom lead us to sin. Let's be servants of righteousness unto holiness.